Welcome back, I'm Andrew, and today we're going to be reviewing the Phoenix PTU 5.2s. Now these are ultra high frequency microphones. Ultra high frequencies are nice because they give us the ability to change frequencies. That way if we're in an area with a lot of interference, then we can just change the channel and avoid the interference. So that's what's really cool about UHF microphones. And UHF microphones have great sound quality for wireless microphones. So these would be nice for live events, churches, presentations what's in the box we have in the box two microphones and one receiver and the power outlet these also comes with two batteries so you don't have to worry about your double a batteries it looks like a standard receiver on the front of the receiver you have your volume dial you can see which channel you're on and your audio levels i thought the audio levels was a really nice touch because i actually have another set of uhf microphones the wm 200s you can't see the audio levels on that receiver. The wireless box has extra features and so do the microphones, which I was really impressed by. When I first started using the microphones, I noticed right off the bat, there's a battery indicator. So you can see how much charge is left on your microphones. This is really useful when you're about to do a big presentation. You wanna know if you have enough battery left to carry you through the presentation. With a battery indicator, you know, oh, I have three bars, I'm good to go. Or if you only have one, then you know that you should change it. Second, there's a mute button. So you could just press it once to mute. And if you ever use wireless microphones, you know when you put it down, it makes some noise. And if anything else around it on the desk makes noise, the microphone picks it up. So it's cool that you can mute it. There's always before the interview starts, sometimes they have some thoughts that they can't hold in and they just have to mutter it as they're walking up to the microphone and sometimes it gets picked up like oh man i'm so hungry when is this gonna end <laughs> you get the idea with the mute button you pick it up and you try to talk if you can't hear yourself then you unmute yourself there's also three buttons down here one to set the channel a plus and minus volume button so if you're on stage and you notice the sound is a little too loud you can just unscrew this and lower the volume yourself. If you feel like it's too quiet and you need to raise the volume, you can go ahead and raise it yourself. In case your audio engineer is busy or if you're just a small team and you need to raise the volume. Now that we got through the cool stuff that I was really excited about, let's get to the sound of the microphone. Obviously sound is a huge factor when using microphones, but we'll keep this fair and I'll let you see for yourself. So this entire time I've been recording through my pod mic, running it through my pod track before. So now I'm going to switch to the PTU 5.2s to give you guys some comparison. Hello, hello. So we're looking at 50% volume on the box and 40% gain on the PodTrack P4. So this is the sound of the PTU 5.2s. Sounds great, huh? Compared to the pod mics, what do you think? Now a disclaimer. These microphones were sent to me from Phoenix. First of all, thank you, Phoenix. But they reached out to me asking for me to give an honest review. So that's exactly what I'm doing. They sent them to me and I don't have to send it to them for review or anything like that. I can just give my honest opinion and put it out onto the internet. Luckily, the microphones are really fun to use and I'm just naturally excited about them. These are the Phoenix PTU 5.2s and in just a second, I'm going to move outside where my other sets of microphones are. I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up. Okay, this is how easy it was to set up. Literally did it in like five minutes. I also have the other WM200s that I was talking about. I use them both at the same time, so I can cut between them in post and you guys can see what it sounds like. 
I needed to be recording on the pod track P4. Good thing my backup camera assistant and audio engineer caught that. These are just the two different microphones. These are both UFH microphones. Like I said, one microphone has more functionality than the other. These are just the two different microphones. These are both UFH microphones. Like I said, one microphone has more functionality than the other. So I thought that was pretty cool. A Phoenix PTU 5.2s. As for audio quality, I think they sound very comparable and we'll be able to tell which one actually sounds better. You might be giving up a little bit of sound quality with these PTU 5.2s. You have these other features that are very useful. Some things that I notice about these PTU 5.2s if you have an audio interface or an XLR output, the microphones will sound better. That's just how microphones and sounds works. Like I mentioned before, the receiver has quarter inch outs. And if you directly output the sound to the speaker, you'll be sacrificing a little bit of sound. If you're just presenting and not recording the sound anyways, the average listener likely won't be able to hear a difference. So I would recommend getting an audio interface with these PTU 5.2s to draw the best sound out of the microphones. These microphones work really well even without a audio interface. Whereas the WM200s, I couldn't even get to work without an audio. Okay, I got them to work, but the sound was so quiet without an audio interface. So I was actually kind of surprised that it gives you a pretty good sound with just the receiver. That is a big plus for PTU 5.2s. These are good for live events, so they will be good at rejecting sound behind the microphone. As you can tell, you can't really, I'm talking behind the microphone and you can't really hear anything I'm saying. Or if I talk to it from the side, you, it doesn't really pick up the sound that well. You have to be talking directly into the microphone in order for it to pick up noise. And we can see how they reject plosives. Peter Piper pitched the podcast. These PTU 5.2s would be good for live music venues, presentations, churches, podcasting, and my favorite application, karaoke. -ing. In my notes, I said that I was going to do some singing so people can get an idea of what it sounds like when you sing through them, but I don't know if I'm ready for that right now. <laughs> they come with a nice carrying case, so it's very easy to bring it around if you're a traveling setup and... You need to keep things organized. You can get to your place, set everything up, and be good to go. These are the new microphones I'd recommend. Before, my go-to recommendations would be the WM200s, but after seeing the quality of these microphones with the added features, a carrying case, and the ease of use, I'd recommend these now. If you're as excited about these microphones as I am, you can use my link in the description for 5% off your set of PTU 5.2s. If you need something to get your friends or family, I'd consider getting these PTU 5.2s. If you know somebody that likes to sing or that likes the podcast that has a message to share, these would definitely be a good option because I know I've been using my microphones for a few podcast episodes. And not to mention, I've been using them a lot for karaoke. I used to not be much of a singer, but ever since I got microphones, I've been singing more frequently and I've been getting better. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.